Hello everybody, right, so, Cooking with Coops, Friday Night Fake Away, this week is bao buns. Um, I'm gonna do the dough. Uh, if you do this Thursday, let it prove overnight uh, in the fridge. Warm, sorry, room temperature, then put it in the fridge until the next day, and then we'll get together at 5 p.m. for an hour of kneading and setting out our buns, if you're cooking along, okay? Um, right, what I've got here is, if you look at the recipe, which is on Insta and, um, Facebook, you take all your dry ingredients, that is 300 grams of flour, 125 grams of corn flour, uh, five tablespoons of caster sugar, some salt, pinches, uh, the yeast, everything dry into a bowl, and then you've got 180 ml of uh, warm water, and it has to be warm, you need to be able to feed it through the, through the jug, and 60 ml of uh, veg oil, okay? You'll need some extra oil later on, but for making the dough, this is it. And I wanna get you to do this beforehand, so we're, otherwise, the proving time and everything on a Friday night will be there till bloody midnight, all right? So make a little well into your dough, uh, into your flour mix, and start mixing it in. I'm gonna use a spoon to start off with, same as we did with the pizza dough, except there's a lot more sugar in here to help the yeast along. The warm water and the sugar. The sugar and the yeast need to, like the yeast feeds off the sugar. We did that with the uh, pizza dough. Um, you know what? Mishy is still gonna send me a another recipe for um, pizza dough. I mentioned him in the couple of the videos. He's a guy who lives out in Perth. I used to play lacrosse with him at uni. Anyway, he lives and breathes pizza. So he's a bit of a purist. And so I'm gonna take his recipe and have a stab at that and see if he can put mine to, uh, to shame, I guess. Right, you may need to add a little bit of water as you go. We'll see how we mix this in. It's starting to take, as you can see, there's flour on the edge of the bowl, but we'll still mix that up and then we're gonna get our hands dirty and we're gonna knead it. Now, if you have a mixer at home, feel free. Medium speed, let it do it the work for you. If you've got a KitchenAid with one of those dough hooks, more power to you. In fact, if you're a company that has a kitchen, that works with KitchenAid, Get me one, that'd be great. Um, so I'm gonna to take to my hands now, most of that's mixed together, make sure all the flour's in, and then we'll drop it on the side and we'll do the same kneading as we did for uh, the pizza dough. Um, right, that's taking shape. Once it's on the deck, I'll time-lapse the video so you don't have to watch me doing 10 minutes of pizza. I might add a splash more water to that, just so it comes together. And so with the bow bands, you need a, uh, Steam up bamboo steamer. I don't have one, so I ordered one from Amazon next day delivery. Okay, so these are the lengths I go to for you good people. Right, that's a bit wet now, brilliant. Um, I'll need this to bits and I'll see you guys after a bit of a time lapse. Ta ra! Right, and there we have it. A nice ball kneaded in. We're gonna pop that into our clean bowl, put that rinse out. Make sure it's nice and dry. Nothing's gonna stick. We pop our ball into our bowl like that. Take some clean film, cover it, and let it proof for about an hour and a half, two hours. Now, I'm doing mine early. I'm just gonna let it prove at room temperature for an hour and a half, two hours and then keep one in the fridge until Friday at five o'clock. Right, so that is the dough for the buns. Now a few words from me. If you want to do fillings, then I personally will do some form of Chinese mince uh, with a slaw as promised. Um, I'll leave those uh, ingredients <clears throat> down there, if Insta or YouTube, up there at Facebook um, for you guys, but it's up to you. If you want duck, pork, beef, chicken, have a little look around, see which ones favour you, dig out something from the freezer the day before, defrost it, and then you can marinate it and do what you like with it. Usually, <clears throat> to stir, we'll, and what we'll do is, we'll cook the meat and the in, uh, the in filling uh, while, the buns are uh, while the buns are proving on Saturday, Friday night, and then we'll steam the buns for about 10 minutes. 
and add our fillings, or you can add the add fillings at first beforehand. However, if it's hot, it might not work. Right, hope that's all clear as mud. Uh, any questions, get in touch. I uh, look forward to cooking along. Brand new, it's fun, brand new for me, this is. Um, so what, what's the worst that could go wrong on a live on a Friday night? So yeah, sort your fillings out. That's the dough sorted, see Friday, five o'clock. We're gonna knead it, knock it back like we do with the pizza dough and let it prove for an hour before we get fully involved. At six, ta from me, bye. Right guys, been a couple of hours. You can see it's risen. When you press it, it bounces back slowly, ever so smooth. I'm going to put that in the fridge overnight. That would be two nights for me, one night for me, depending on when you make it. And that's the dough for our bow buns. Now, let me talk you through the process. I'm going to take it out of the fridge, Friday, five o'clock. I'm going to knock it back and let it prove again. And then at six o'clock, we're going to make the buns, shape them and steam them and do our fillings. Okay, so Friday from six, the dough will be proven, rolled out, shaped, and ready to steam. Then we'll do the fillings. Then that's the bow buns. And then you get to vote on what we do next week, because it's still YouTube's June. Don't forget to subscribe on YouTube, follow me on Insta, share, share it with all your mates who think they'll benefit from some home cooking and some kitchen confidence. See you Friday night, guys. Take care, bye-bye.